Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to get right into it. <laughs> I got three of my Bibles out for this one. I'm sure not everyone's going to agree with me on this, but uh, that will be okay. Uh, now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Uh, ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. They used to be pagans and they used to worship uh, idols. Wherefore I, gi I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and no man... Uh, can say that Jesus is Lord uh, but by the Holy Ghost um, again when they were they had a big problem with uh, spiritual gifts they received uh, the spiritual gifts but they were abusing them and he's going to go into detail on that now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit uh, and there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh in all. Now, the Holy Spirit showed me something. I've read this a hundred times. Uh, this is the Bible I marked. This is why I pulled it out. Look in verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts by the same Spirit, Holy Spirit. And there are differences of administration, but by the same Lord, the Son. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh in all, Spirit, Lord, and God. You got your Trinity right there. I have never seen that before. And I don't know how many times I've read this uh, chapter. But I thought that was interesting. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> All right. Chapter, uh, verse number seven. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. Uh, everybody's going to get different gifts, folks. We all do not have the same gifts. That's why when they say, you must speak in tongues and be baptized baptized uh, to be saved not everybody speaks in tongues not everybody gets the gift of tongues and we're going to see that right here in a minute for to one is uh, given by the spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, and uh, to another the interpretation of tongues. I counted nine gifts there. I'm not sure that that's all that uh, the Holy Spirit gives you, but uh, there are nine mentioned right there. And notice that uh, the gift of tongues and the interpretation are the last of the gifts. Uh, so... You know, I don't have a problem. If somebody wants to speak in tongues, that's fine if they speak a different language. I want to, uh, let's just do that right now. I'm in verse 11. Three times in the book of Acts, uh, we find only three times the church or anybody speaking in tongues. And tongues is for a sign, and the signs are for the Jews. Uh, Acts chapter 2 and verse 4 it says and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance and there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews nobody was but Jews were here and in verse 8 it says and how hear we every man in our own tongue that word tongue could be changed to uh, language I do not change the King James Bible though but in old or English, that's what they're talking about. Do you speak my tongue? Do you speak my language? When we were born. How we hear everyone uh, in our own tongue wherein we were born. It is a human language. 
and then in verse 10 in chapter 10 uh, in verse 44 while Peter yet spake these words the Holy Ghost fell on all of them which heard the word and they of the circumcision believe which astonished let's see uh, 46 for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God then answered Peter can anyone forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we they understood what they were saying in their own tongue for they heard them speak with other tongues or you could replace it with language and magnify God so they knew that they were magnifying God the only other place in the book of Acts that it is found is in chapter 19 uh, and verse 6 and notice that uh, the way they receive the tongues are different in each case too uh, and when Paul had laid his hands upon them the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Again, Acts is a, a transitional book. They're learning the doctrines of uh, what actually happened with the uh, crucifixion, death, burial, and resurrection. At first, they're uh, they're preaching the Who gospel in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and then they're doing, uh, at the end of the Acts, they're preaching the what gospel, which is Paul's gospel. All right, so you got nine gifts of the Spirit. Uh, we're in verse 11, let's see. But all these worketh that one in the same self, same self Spirit, dividing to every man severely as he will. Uh, this chapter is all about the body and the spirit, folks. The body of Christ. That's what we are. And this was a mystery. Uh, for as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. See, I think the Corinthians were uh, amongst themselves bragging about their gifts. I've got the gift of tongues. And I've got the gift of prophecy, and I got the gift of this, and I got the gift of that. And he's saying it's all one. It doesn't matter what gifts you've got. The Lord gave them to you. They're given to you by one spirit, and you are one body. Boy, if we could get that, we could get revival in the church. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. There's only, there's no difference between the Jew and Gentile in the church. Once you are saved and born again, uh, you are a member of the body of Christ and no longer a Jew or Gentile. For the body is uh, not one member, but many. Hold on a second, let me just, this is uh, Ephesians chapter four. And I'm just going to read one real quick. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse 5, it says, One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So there's only one Spirit. And uh, let's see, where was I? For the body is not one member but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? See, all these gifts go into the body of Christ for a purpose. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole body were the hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, 
as it hath pleased him. Listen, you're not like me. I am not like you. You're, uh, God uses everybody individuals. He made us individual. Don't, if you're trying to do a ministry, don't try to copy somebody else's. Just do what the Lord lays on your heart. My, <laughs> this little YouTube channel ministry thing uh, is quite different from any of the other ones I see. But it's, uh, it's my personality. Uh, God used Peter. He wrote differently than Paul. God used uh, John. He wrote differently than Peter. See what I mean? Uh, we are all individuals and God will use us all. And don't try to be like somebody else. Just be yourself. Uh, we're all different. We don't. There's no cookie cutter Christianity. Uh, and a lot of people try to put you in a little box, but uh, there's no such thing as that. But now are they many members, yet but one body? Oh, would to God that we could get that. Nay, much more, those members are the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we will bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness he's talking about different parts of the bodies you might not think are important but they are uh, you ever scratched your eye when I was in the woods one time I scratched my eye I ran into a uh a tree like a little bitty branch and it, it just barely scratched my eye and man it affected my entire body I I had to close that eye I, had, I couldn't you know and I don't know if you've ever tried that but if one eyed you don't have depth perception I mean it just messed me up that one little part of my body was not functioning and it just really uh, really messed me up and I think that's what he's kind of talking about there. That there should be no schism in the body. But that the uh, members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer and all all the members suffer with it. Just like I was telling you, my eye got cut. And I was miserable all over. Or one member be honored and all the members rejoice with it. See, they weren't honoring, uh, they were abusing these gifts. Now, ye are of the body of Christ and members in particular. And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondly, he's ranking it now, he's putting a, uh, first as the apostles, this is in the church, secondly, prophets, thirdly, teachers, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. That's the last one. <laughs> and uh, they put so much emphasis on tongues in the charismatic movement. And it is the least of all the gifts. Are all apostles? Now listen to this. He's asking a question. They're rhetorical questions. You should know the answer to them. Are all apostles? Well, no. Are all prophets? Well, no. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? No. Have all the gifts of healing? Well, of course not. Do all speak with tongues? No. Do all interpret? No. But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. So those people that say, you got to speak in tongues, or you don't have the evidence of the Holy Ghost, and you're not saved, are not reading their Bibles, are they? For all do not speak in tongues. Those are rhetorical questions that he answered. Alright, that is chapter 12. Um, if you have any questions, and I, I might can answer them, I might not, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, you can uh, leave them in the comment section. If you uh, don't agree with me, that's fine. 
Uh, what I found out is there's nine different gifts mentioned in that chapter. And uh, tongues is the least of the gifts. And uh, not everybody is a prophet. Not everybody is an apostle. Of course, I don't think you have any apostles today, folks. I really don't. I think you had to see the risen Lord to be a, an apostle and uh, could write scripture. And I don't believe anybody is today. They People that claim they are... Uh, but I am, I doubt they are very seriously. And uh, prophets, uh, to prophesy not only means to tell the future, but a lot of times it means to preach. To uh, When you prophesy, you're exhorting, you're uh, preaching the word of God. And so in that sense, there are uh, prophets. I uh, am real leery of those folks that uh, say, well, in... 2020, Donald Trump will do this and that and the other and uh, things of that nature. I'm not, I'm, I don't put a whole lot of stock in that because I don't see why we need any more uh, revelation. We got it all right here in this book. If we can just discern this book, we got all the prophecies we need. Go to the Old Testament, man. Go to the prophets. There's a whole bunch in there. Nobody knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Uh, if you want to look into prophecies, you don't have to go to a, a man. I would be very, very leery of that. And if anybody tells you that you must speak in tongues uh, to be saved, uh, they're a liar and a horse thief. Because <laughs> uh, I just read to you where he says that not all speak in tongues. All right, folks, Lord bless you. I hope you got a little something out of that. We're going to go into chapter 13 next time though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity this is the chapter on love but it also deals with the spiritual gifts again So, alright Lord bless you read your Bible and pray without ceasing